Welcome, young learners, to amazing science class. So today we'll be talking about measurement, and it has to do with length, 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 length. As you can see, the boy and the girl doing length. It has to do with what length. Let's dive in. What is length? Length is the distance from one end to the other end of an object. Is the distance from one end to the other end of an object. Do you know people in the past, like our grandparents, great grandparents, they make use of their hands and feet to measure things then. I know you don't know about this. They make use of their hands and feet to measure. But do you know this is not accurate? This is not accurate because we all have different sizes of hands and feet. So it won't give them the appropriate answer. No, this won't give them the appropriate answer. That's the reason we have the standard units of measurement. We have to do the ruler, tape rule, and the rest. And standard units were created to measure length. They were created to measure what? Length. In standard units, we use meter. To measure long objects. As you can see, the man is making use of a longer measuring stick to measure long objects. Why we use centimeter? If you take your ruler now, you will see that there is a place CM is written centimeter to measure short objects. As you can see, the lady looking at you smiling, she's making use of ruler to rule. We have different measuring tools. We use special tools to measure length, as you can see. Um, this set square ruler, we, you can see them in your mass set. And we have the tape rule, and we have the measuring tape that the um, carpenter do make use to measure inches, isn't it? Now, these are linear measurements. We use them in measuring length. We have the 10 millimeters make one centimeter. Say it with me. 10 centimeter make one decimeter. 10 decimeter makes one, make one meter. 100 centimeter make one meter. 1,000 meter make one kilometer. Activity time. Measure the length of your pencil using a ruler. Can you see the way the pencil is placed and the ruler? Make sure, I know your ruler, we have centimeter and zero, isn't it? Make sure your pencil and your, your pencil starts from the zero or if it's starting from one, make sure it starts from it. And the number in which the tail of your pencil, where your eraser is ends, that's the length of your pencil. Remember, it do have cm centimeter. Hope you've learned about measurement of length. Thanks for watching. See you in the next class. Bye.